table A-7, the ear. So our external ear, we have this auricle. And then here's the part of our external acoustic meatus. So we can see it all the way into um, our tympanic membrane. So right here, if I take that out, here we see that tympanic membrane, or you may have heard it called the eardrum before. So now we're going to hit our middle ear. So what's attached onto the tympanic membrane? We have three auditory ossicles. This guy right here, so this prong, ignore him. He doesn't really exist. This is like a wire thing. I'm not sure why it's there. But this bone right here that's attached straight onto the tympanic membrane is the malleus, which kind of looks like a mallet. And then we have the incus, which looks a little like a tomahawk. And then we have the stapes right in there, which you can see look, kind of looks like a staple or a stirrup. Um, I'm gonna show you those three. This is what they look like in real life. They're so tiny. So here's my thumb nail, and I have not super big nails, so <laughs> that's maybe not the best comparison, but um, that's the malleus, that's the incus, and that's the tiny little stapes. So those bones are all in your petrous part um, of your skull. That's where you can find all three of those right there. But kind of cool. Um, so now we're going to go into our inner ear. So this portion is making up our inner ear. So we have this part that kind of looks like a, sne a snail shell. And then we have this part with lots of loops coming off of it. This portion right here is the cochlea. And this portion over here is the vestibule. Now the vestibule has a few components located on it. Um, right here, this part right there, that's kind of thick and bumpy. I'm trying to give you a few angles here to see it, but that is the saccule and that is our utricle on the vestibule. And then we have these semicircular canals and ducts. So the canals are these part and the ducts kind of run through them but the semicircular ducts on the edges of them, we have these thickened parts that get a little wider right there, which is called the ampulla. So I had one of my students told me this, so it probably came from another teacher, but they would say amp your sac. So ampulla, utricle, saccule. Um, I don't know what that means, but there you go. There's something to remember those weird, weird words with. Now, we have the vestibulocochlear nerve, which is this together. And as you can see, this nerve is coming off straight to the cochlea. So this one would be our cochlear branch. And then you can see back here, you have the vestibular branch. You also have a nerve that comes off. The facial nerve kind of runs with them. So I believe that this portion right here is part of the facial nerve. So just kind of ignore him. But this, I would believe, is the cochlear branch and the vestibular branch.